Hey guys, this is my inverter having two 12 volt battery. I think it's 120 AAs, 130 AAs, ampere hour 12 volt two batteries. But as you see, this is the terminal fully get up some kind of copper sulfate or some kind of salt here. And I don't know what is the condition of battery right now. But if I turn on the inverter. battery low it's not giving me any kind of backup so when power came I tried to fix it probably if we clean this terminal probably it has started working so let's see what happened now first thing we do we turn off the inverter and disconnect it from the terminal This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. First we disconnect the negative terminal. Negative terminal disconnected. Look at it, there is some kind of dust. Wow. <laughs> it's the spark. <laughs> oh my god. This plastic is melted. Completely melted here. I don't know what happened. There is some kind of short circuit. There is the washer. To clean this battery terminal, we're going to use some baking soda and a little bit hot water. So this is boiling water and boiling water. Pour it off. Put a little bit. Enough. There is some kind of reaction. So I'll take a old brush and use the baking soda. Clean it. Look at there is a reaction. Search. Yeah, nasty. Put some soda water, baking soda water. I'm trying to open the uh, terminal. Hopefully, you can open it. Huh? I have a little pain on my hand, so it's hard for me. Yeah. Now open this channel. It's a little bit tight, but can open it. Now do not touch this thing with your bare hand. But there's some nasty, there's some nasty chemicals over here. It's taking a bit long. Terminal is oh, so tight. Okay. Last time Last time. It has fallen.
Finally, it's open. No. Look at the terminal condition. It's pretty bad. Focus. Oh my god. You see it guys? And this is the baking soda. It's become completely black. So we need more hot water and baking soda solution. Uh, we're going to clean all of this terminal, full of this terminal. So this one is the most dirtiest one. Now it's a little bit close to clean it up. Now here we got to another sodium bicarbonate and hot water solution. Fill this, it's gross. Now we are cleaning our next. Do you guys see this thing? This is a cover for this terminal, so it, it don't get short. So it's become so hot that it just melt and attach with this terminal. No way, I can't remove it. So guys, now clean all of this terminal, then I will talk with you. All of this terminal's cleaning is completed. To as you see, all of this thing is clean. Now let's check the water level. Yeah, water is pretty full. Now check the battery voltage. Around 13 volt is fine, less than 12 volt battery state. Battery voltage is 12.63. Little bit low. This one is 12.64. Okay. So the battery is dying as this battery is near about 10 years old battery. So nothing to complain. <laughs> Guys here is my another inverter. It's uh, I think 850 watt Sukam inverter. And here I attached a desulfator. Look at this pulsing. It's, it takes charge from the battery and they put a little bit high voltage charge to desulfate the battery. And this battery is around I think uh, I bought it around 2007 so it's around 13 years old battery but it's still working look at this terminal it also needs to clean okay probably I'll do it today or later horrible condition <laughs> bad condition I'll take this desulfator let's remove it and attach it with this two battery uh, this desulfator works from 12 volt to 48 volt battery. So if you have a 4 12 volt cell connected in series, you can use the desulfator. So I have here two batteries, so I easily connect this desulfator and hope it improves this battery performance. So first, I am going to connect all of this terminal and then I will attach this desulfator. Next, you guys also can clean this terminal using a sandpaper or a Dremel tool. First we will connect the positive terminal, then we connect the negative. So, and we have to tight it up, so there is not loose connection. Now connect the ground.
Now if I remove this plug, this is it's giving me backup and I tested it, it's giving me around 3-4 hours backup uh, without any problem.